Hey everyone, this is Owen and I'm going to walk you through the local team budget template. Uh, so this is designed to help you keep track of how you spend your funds as a local team and how to communicate that with your team along with some other helpful links. So I'll just kind of walk down from the top down. So when you scroll through your template here, it's going to leave three rows at the top. So you always can see them. Okay, so that'll be the historical balance in your account. So that's should be pretty close to what is actually in your account without having to jump online. Okay, you can indicate the last date that you budgeted the account, um, kind of listed all your transactions in the different categories things like that. Uh, you can list your chart field here so everybody in your team knows what chart field you guys are using. Um, and then there are some helpful links over here, some budget and spending norms that I actually pulled from crew, some just general guidelines of uh, travel or um, technology or different things like that. So if you're interested in those, you can use that. Uh, GL codes, which are important when you enter your budgets online. Um, so you can grab those. You'll be need to log in to staff web in order to access GL codes and the entering the budgets online, because those are direct links from staff web. Um, and so if you click on enter budget online, that'll take you directly to the multi-line data entry sheet. So back over here, uh, we can see that we've got four columns here. Um, one is called budget, one is called historical, one is called allocated, spent, and remaining. So budget, this is kind of uh, your dream column. This is um, like what you... If you could raise everything that you would want to this year, this is kind of what you indicate over here. So I kind of estimated, let's say we wanted to raise $20,000. So that's what I plugged in in this document. Um, and then this assessment row will automatically calculate in that, uh, that 20%. Um, and then what I, what I went and did is these are all just group headings. Um, and so these dollar amounts here will add everything beneath them. So like weekly meeting, there's different things for weekly meetings, scholarships for winter retreat, spring break opportunities. And then all these categories are, are added up. Um, and so net total expenses, you can see I plan to spend 22,000. Um, and this is in part because of the second column here. Um, and so what that is, is the historical balance. Um, each year you'll have an amount remaining in your account. Um, so that could be uh, negative or it could be positive. So let's just say we ended with $1,234 at the end of our account last year. And so that helps us know how much we can spend um, from the year prior. And if you want to carry over any amounts, um, from previous years for travel, for conferences, or campus outreaches or anything, you can carry those over uh, as well. And um, so then it leads us to our allocated column. So this is our dream column, the column B with our budget. Uh, column C is what money we, we still have um, before we raise anything new. Column D is what we are actually have in our hands in terms of what we can actually spend today. Uh, it's the beginning of the year. We'll go through and indicate where everything goes. Um, and so you can see that we've only planned to spend $7,100. Um, and so that is in part because of this. Uh, we're, we're saying, let's, for example, we only raised $10,000. Um, and so therefore we can only allocate uh, $8,000 because of the $2,000 assessment. Um, and so we've allocated 7,100 of that. Um, and so this is our spent column. Uh, pretty much what you do is you enter in negative numbers of what you spent. So let's say we spent $30 on food this month. So I'm gonna press the, the equal sign um, and I'm gonna put a negative 30 in there. Um, and so this week that, that's indicating, telling me that we did negative 30, so that's $30 spent on food. And so you can see this remaining column just subtracts from the, the allocated column. Um, so the next week, if I come in and I say, oh, well, you know, 
we decided to get nicer food this week and we spent 60. So I'm just going to put add a minus 60 to that and press enter. And so it's those 90. And so you can see that amount is decreasing automatically in the remaining column. So, and then I left this, uh, this space over here for you. Um, just to add notes or anything, if you want to say something specifically more details than the just um, the title of each column, so you can keep this pretty clean. So if you have questions, as always, contact me, and I'll help you uh, walk through it and get this set up for your team. Um, hope this is, this is helpful for you guys.